All right, let's go interview this guy. Okay. You know, I would curse at you right now, but I'm pretty sure that that'll just make you hate me even more than you apparently do for some bullshit reason. What's going on? This officer is fucking discriminating against me. Uh, no. Okay. That's, um... That's not what's happening. That's an FIB investigation. Yep. <laughs> that, that's not me. Alright. So... Oh, sorry. No Go discrimination ahead. here. Well, that's... that's Listen, not you have no right to talk. Why do I have a training... Yeah, you look like someone it, it cut a scrap piece of carpet and glued it to the, to the top of his head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I do, I do have some Excuse nice me. hair, though. Okay, no. well, sir, first what of all, the I'm Senior Investigator guy. Frederick von Siegsberg, Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Um, I'd ask how you're doing today, but you're already in cuffs, so it's probably not a good day. No? Uh, what? Do, do hey, do hello, people? Investigator. Yeah, what's up? Come here. Yeah, give me one second, sir. Alright, so... I'm also an investigator as well, so we're gonna be. You're actually in your uniform, so I'll let you take over this okay. case, whatever. Uh, I asked them why, why you know, why they're in the vehicle, whatever, on East Joshua. They took off from me. Uh -huh. um, we brought them over. They kept running around. We eventually got them stopped over here. Uh, one of the guys is in the back of my patrol cruiser right there. Okay. Uh, I'm taking him in for a whole host of charges. Oh, I don't think we have anything to charge that guy. So you can talk to him what you want. I'm I'm not going to take him in because I don't. Well, was he a passenger? See, he was a passenger. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to inter uh, interview him real quick. Um, uh, yeah. Try to get his additional things. Here, just as a little, uh, just Rose a little heads up. He's been at the wrong place at the wrong time about yeah. three times now. Uh, geez. So, okay. You know, little suspicious. He's just currently running a little weird, but nothing. Additional you know, cements, I'm guessing. Yep. Yeah. So nothing. We don't have anything. So he's saying there was a trooper socket in the car. I saw nothing in the car, so I okay. I can't verify that. He said he was getting kidnapped. What? He told me on East Joshua Road he was joking about that before they took mm. off. So I, I can't. So he's giving me mixed signals here. Okay. I'm not going to charge him. I'm going to be charging the driver, though, with evading, uh, lying, because he did lie to me. Okay. Um, well, and um, I'll find the other charges. Are you in the BCSO? I am, uh, yep. I'm already set up. Yeah, if you can, uh, when you're done with your report, and can you send me the rest report and incident report or something to that extent to my email? Uh, best yeah. 212. 212? Like, okay. Yeah, uh, 212, right. Frederick. Oh, you know what? You might, I think you helped me with the uh, raid at the LSA the other day. Maybe. Kind of. Depends when it was. I've been the two, I've, I've had too many scenes at LSIA, so... Uh, but yeah, no, if you can just send me, you know, what reports you have, it'll help me with my case file. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and interview him. Uh, what station are you taking the guy you're being arrested to? I'm taking him over to probably since we're close to the uh, P, uh, Polito Bay. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, that So, makes... yeah. If you want to go interview him, I'm going to take him down right now. If you need me, I can come back here. Just radio me. Yep, yep. Uh, what was your best number again? 530, Brain Carmen. Copy. Thank you. All police officers look nearly the exact same. Alrighty. Sorry, sir. He, uh, the trooper was filling me in on a few things. Alrighty. So, first of all, outside of this situation, how are you doing today? Uh, fine, I guess. Okay. So, can you explain to me what happened on your end? Okay. I was first approached by the guy in the guy in the green car uh, in front of the AOD place. Okay. I was driving my company van, and I pulled over. Then he took out a shotgun, and we had a 15-long-minute argument about whether or not I should give him $50,000 in cash. Uh, that's a long time to have a shotgun named at you, sir. How you fellas doing? He, he aimed it at me in brief places, and then I said, well, I'll just run to the police down the street. And he was like, if you do that, I'll fucking sever you. So I didn't run, because if I ran, he would try fucking to shot me. So, but yeah, and uh, and we eventually reached the conclusion that he would drive me to... Like it's what did you well, rather, he reached that conclusion, that he would drive me to a bank. I'd take out as much money as I could, and then he would drive off with the money, leaving me at the bank. Hmm. Okay. Then we were stopped by that officer. And I already knew that it was not his car, because if you need... Because if he, he snatched $200 from me without a second thought. So 
Two if you stabbed two hundred dollars uh, from someone and is and, and, and was about to call it quits there, you probably don't have that kind of car. So mm. we was getting pulled over, and then he said that it's not his car. Some guy kidnapped him. Blah blah blah. Uh, I really do not care about that. But please, um, this tow truck because he will he can be me. So fuck that guy. Uh, but yeah, and well, anyways. So the officer told him to step out, and he wouldn't. So he dro car. drove off. And in the meanwhile, all of a sudden, the car telling him that. He, that why why did you kidnap me? And that the officer probably just wanted to talk since he said that since he seriously told the officer that someone killed him. Wait, no, kidnapped him. Okay. And then, well, then he reached down here and he said, uh, and he hoped I, and he said, I hope you can swim. And then he was about to drive off when you guys oh, came and I right. ran out the car. It's uh, like nice. rusty okay. tow truck. He's coming so back. So pretty much, uh, let me just try to summarize this real quick. He uh, entered. He uh, held you at gunpoint in front of the. Uh, AOD oh, bar. Nice. He's yeah. heading back towards. Was that the right one up in uh, Blaine County? Yep. Alrighty. So you had a 15-minute-long argument about him demanding you to withdraw. Arrest him for fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, because I was. Uh, yeah, f yeah, fifty thousand. Mostly because I was uh, I was calling his bluff that he wanted to kill me. He didn't look like someone who would kill someone else. Okay. And he did this at gunpoint with a shotgun. You said. A sweeper shotgun, you know those uh, with round magazine? Mm, yes, okay, yeah, I'm familiar with it. Yeah, yeah those one handed ones, yeah. Okay. And after the 15 minutes of a. The, yeah, I'm going to call it an argument for the sake of. Well, it is, it was an argument. Yeah. Um, He decided to take you to one of the banks I, uh, in Blaine, I'm assuming? He will. He, by the way, by the. But well, by the way he was, by where he was going with the car, well, probably think he was taking me to Harmony. Harmony, okay. Yeah, but we, but the officer stopped stopped him before he took me to Harmony. So just to clarify, you're thinking he was taking to the Fleeka Bank on Harmony? That's what I was getting. Any other bank would be f too fucking far, and it would be uh, like a whole wait just to go to a different. Alrighty. Uh, so then the off, uh, the officer was the trooper that I was just talking to. Uh, yeah, the guy with the, with the Patrick Swayze haircut. Okay, yep, yep, okay, so the state trooper pulled you the, pulled him over. He refused to get out of the vehicle and drove off, initiating yeah. a uh, high-speed pursuit. Yeah, and I will say, I had my hands up mostly the entire time. And, yeah, well, he, uh, and I was also, I made it very clear to the officers that I was being kidnapped, which I was. Okay. Well, the trooper also said that you were. You told him before the guy drove off that you were joking about being kidnapped. Does that ring bells? No, no. Listen, listen. He had a fucking sweeper shotgun in the car. I, I was trying, I was testing the waters because I knew he, I didn't know if he were going to kill me or not. But from his reaction to me saying I was being kidnapped, I decided it would be better to try to uh, not instigate him anymore. Okay. Because he was probably just going to shoot me. So you, you, that whole, uh, haha, I was joking, was just a uh, yeah. tr uh, survival attempt? Yes. Okay. So, and then obviously he drove all the way from Blaine over there on uh, what looked like Route 68 is what I was hearing on the radio. It was all the way down. Uh, no, Indiana. he was on Joshua. You know, oh, in Joshua. Of station. Okay. Yeah, you know, that, that big stretch that goes. Uh, yeah. Hey, you're good here? Yeah, I just need a marked unit uh, present. All right. I'm about done, though. I'm saying because there's three of us here. Yeah. It's me, I got me and two um, FTO artists. Oh, jeez. Okay, you got two going on? Yeah. Uh, yeah I just need a marked unit to be present. All right, yeah. We'll see you. I'll cut you loose when I cut him loose. Oh, what happened? Yeah. All right. Hey, we're so, for a little bit. We have a mark unit. Uh, East Joshua, you were here. saying? Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, I think it was East Joshua. No, right. the, yeah, the, the, the first one from towards the train track. Okay. He's headed westbound yes. on Joshua, and then please. he said, "You said he was gonna drive Virginia the vehicle into the section. water." Is what you were, uh, uh, were getting? He, 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 well, he said, "I hope you can swim." So I'm probably thinking he was going to drive into the water. Happy that. Okay. All right. So, sir, here's the deal. Uh, we don't. Uh, from everything you're telling me, and from what the trooper was saying, the trooper had no uh, intention to keep you. We just needed to have you here present. I do apologize. I don't know who cuffed you. Um, but uh, that was the guy in the uh, gray. Gray would be troopers. Um, so what we're gonna, we, uh, as my uh, fellow deputy has done, he has uncuffed you. Um, my badge number is 212. I'm Senior Investigator Frederick Von Siegsberg, Blaine County Sheriff's Department, as I stated. 
If anything comes to mind, please feel free to send me an email in, in any of the various Discordias. Why is oh, my wow. okay? Please ignore Holy that. My smokes. brain, my brain did a dumb thing. Um, yeah. I don't we, know. We all have big pockets. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say the state did something stupid and call it a day on that one. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, if you if anything else comes to mind, please feel free to come down to the station and ask for me or uh, hey, if whoever wanted that. Any of the uh, over uh, ten twenty. Elio Discordia, you'll be able to see find me by my badge number. So at this point in time, you are free to go. Um, Obviously, you oh, well. from a, don't from a... have a vehicle. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't have a vehicle. <laughs> so here's what I can do: if you are willing to let me pat, do a uh, me or the deputy do a quick oh, pat down, I can give you a ride back. Uh, you said you had a van company van with the AV part of the Yeah, but I, I I called company tow because I didn't want it to. Last time I, last time I let it sit in just a parking lot, it was fucking stolen, and it's quite a hassle to get it back. Understood. Uh, what I can do is, if you were willing to let uh, the deputy here pat you down, I can give you a ride over to Blaine or drop you off in Toledo. Up uh, to you. Yeah, all right. yeah, you, yeah, you can get him down. Yep. Uh, yeah. Deputy, can you please pat him down for me? Yeah, I got you. Me and two shows him route in the wheelchair traffic stop. Postal 949, pulled over uh, west of the old right, all good. Alrighty. So Thank you, down Deputy. Down I'm going to go ahead and give him a ride. Here. Where, uh, yeah, where, where do you want me to drop you off, sir? I uh, just believe you. Toledo? All right. Yeah. Let me unlock my car. There we go. No, you're one of the nice officers. Yeah, I try to be. Usually it ends up getting me shot, but, you know, I try. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when I'm nice on the job, I end up getting robbed, so it's fine. Yep. Uh, fair enough. Just make hey, sure you're buckled in. The state does weird stuff, sir. Yeah. I'm also, this vehicle anything. does not like off-roading very much. It's a sandstorm. What do you mean? You would be a... Oh, first of all, it, it turns like a tank. I swear to God, I feel like I mean, my, my cousin gave me this from the Natgard's armory. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is insane how slow this thing turns. 4300. Oh, yeah, that's why you guys get uh, excess shit on. from Natgard, I feel. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, locals. I mean, have you seen the locals around Willy? Around Willy's? No, they I don't think I have. They just drive into someone's uh, front yard. Jeez, <laughs> really? Yeah, and then they keep ramming the house. Oh, thank God. This is 212. Uh, show me 107. I'll be transporting civilian down to Polito Bay real quick. Alrighty, there we go. No one's gonna call me in the middle of transport. <laughs> You know, gonna... last time I was uh, uh, fucking yesterday I was being arrested, I was being detained by the FBI because uh, oh, God. I was, uh, yeah I was apparently on the same beach uh, as a cargo ship that was uh, that they thought was uh, transporting illegal explosives. So oh. I had to sit for over thirty five minutes being told to shut up, sit down. Why are you talking? Why are you not talking? Uh, why, <laughs> are you, why are you not? Why are you not uh, uh, looking at us? Why are you looking at us? Why are you over there? Why are you not over there? Why are at the house? Why are you not at the house? Why are you not at the front of my car? Why are you? Not, why are you in my car? Yeah, FIB can be a little, uh, a little intense. Yeah, and, and then one of them got Thanks, fucking executed by some guy in, with a shotgun. Oh jeez. Hello, yeah, so fucking, friend. Yeah, <laughs> so fucking shots rang out, and I had to duck under, uh, under one of, uh, under uh, like a porch of a, yep. <laughs> of a fucking uh, house. Where do you want me to drop you off? Uh, wherever's uh, good for you. Okay, I'll just uh, I'll just call into the uh, PD and call it a day. Sure, oh, yeah. it was handled. Somebody check it out. 215, I'll check it out. Well, speaking of locals crashing into buildings, the local crashing into that uh, PD. All right, here you go, sir. Yeah. Yeah, have a good day. Yep, you too. Try not to get kidnapped God bless, again. <laughs> yep, God bless, man. I just lost control of my vehicle for some stupid reason. I think that one's been handled. 
617 to the officer at the Panorama gas station. James is coming down your way on the wheelchair. I just told him to stay off the road, and he went and did it anyways. Two twelve is back, 10 8, active detective. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and end this recording. I was mostly hoping he might say something else, but he didn't.